What's beautiful about Unreal Engine 5 is how you can change your scene from day to night and have it look absolutely beautiful. In this video, we are going to show you two methods you can use to achieve both. We did a cinematic video recently using a Nerf environment. If you don't know what Nerfs are, he essentially took a drone footage and turned it into a 3D environment. It's magic, really. Now our Nerf was shot during the day, but we switched the lighting to a night scene and people were mad. And by people, we mean our mom. It was okay, but, but I couldn't see the cake. Emotional damage! At this point, we knew we fucked up. And of course, us being Persians, mothers have absolute control. <laughs> and no matter how old we are, we're still babies to our mama. So we had no choice but to stop everything. Absolutely everything. To redo the scene in daylight. We need to find the train. So by now, you probably noticed why we didn't go for a day scene. Because we wanted to get super close to the bridge. And of course, there was artifacts there. That's why we made the switch. Let's jump into Unreal Engine 5 to show you exactly how we did it. So this first method is absolutely free because we're using the default lighting of Unreal Engine. We got all of you guys who are on a budget. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the window tab, Environment Light Mixer. And we're gonna bring in the directional light Exponential height fog, sky atmosphere, skylight, and volumetric cloud. From the place actors window, let's add the post process volume. Enable unbound from the details panel so it affects our whole scene. Change exposure to manual so we can keep it low for the night scene. Add some vignette and we are good for now. Then we head over to our directional light, which is our main source of light. Here it is the sun. We can use Ctrl L to change the direction of the light, but the only issue is we only have the colors of sunrise to sunset not the nighttime. So to artificially create that, we will change our color to a light blue. Now, let's bring down the intensity a tad bit too. And now let's head over to our skylight. This is a crucial supporting light that captures the distant part of our level and applies that to the scene as light. It enhances the realism of our scene. You can see it in action right here. So let's also give this general light a bluish tint and a low intensity. By the way, if you notice, this doesn't affect the sky itself. Okay, next we got exponential height fog. Now fog is absolutely necessary to add depth and realism to your shot so it doesn't look CG. See how bad that looks? Eesh. Let's play with fog density. You see the difference? I also played with height fall off, which controls the density of the fog at different heights. Now let's work that fog in scattering color. Mm, I'm thinking a slight blue tint. Now if you are planning to have the sky in your shot, you're gonna need to add a sky sphere to change the look to a night scene. Take the sun height down to minus one and increase the start brightness. Remember, this doesn't affect your scene lighting, just the look of your sky. Now let's go back to my directional light and increase the volumetric scattering intensity. Since we added the height fog earlier, this setting allows the light to impact the volumetric fog at a higher scale. Let's go back to our post-process volume and bring down our exposure. In the color grading tab, I added a bit of contrast and changed the gamma and gain values to a slight blue tint, which are my mid-tones and highlights. All right, so this next part is funny. When I checked my post-process volume impact on my scene, I realized without it, the scene is way too bright and my OCD ass didn't like that. So I went to my directional light, brought down the intensity and instead compensated that by increasing the exposure in post-process volume. I don't know if this is actually important, but I, I just had to fix it. At this point, I went back to my exponential height fog and I increased the fog density and played around with height fall off. And all of the settings that you saw we played with, we went around and tinkered a little bit here and there just to get that final look that we needed. So we recommend that you do the same. Now let's go and see how this bad boy looks. That was a pretty good night scene, but it did take a bit of time to achieve, which is why we're now onto our second method. Second method. And the second method is using an add-on called Ultra Dynamic Sky, which is by far our most favorite add-on. It is a paid add-on, which costs around 30 to 50 bucks, depending on where you're from, 
but it is going to be absolutely a lifesaver if you're trying to work on a scene, have a sky that looks fantastic in the shortest amount of time. If you don't believe us, just look at all these different scene setups you can have if you have the ultra dynamic sky add-on. It's beautiful, so good. Now, if you notice with this add-on, it's as simple as dragging the blueprint into your scene. For example, with the right adjustment to the time of day, you get a sweet looking night scene with stars, moon, and all the right lighting ready from the get-go. I wanna make more changes. So let's look up moon and change the moon angle and inclination in the sky to place it where we desire. See how the position of the moon automatically adjusts the lighting in your scene? So easy. Another setting we love to play with is cloud coverage. Not only does this impact the look of our sky, it also changes the amount of light that we have in our scene. Next, we are gonna turn on volumetric fog and increase the fog slider. Now remember, we always need post-process volume regardless of the setup. So we bring that in and play with all the same settings we did when we had our default lighting. The only thing to note is that the manual exposure won't work because UDS is controlling that. So let's turn the exposure off over there so we can change it within our post post-process volume. Okay, let's check it out. Did you see that? Beautiful. All right, so which scene do you guys prefer the most? The day scene or the night scene? Because clearly our mom chose the day scene. Let us know in the comments. And before you go, subscribe, motherfuckers. <laughs>